What did humanity do to Hermit, bro? I gotta ask the question, because we see her in a flashback with the Ziggy, and she is so happy, she's so excited, she's adorable, and she says that all she wants to do is just help humanity. And then we see her now, and she's so depressed, and she's like, screw all humans. I am so interested to learn about what happened to her, and I'll get to talking about Hermit again in a moment, but first I gotta talk about something else, and that something is actually a someone, and that someone's name is the Genius Hacker Spider, and this guy is actually the person who was playing as Jamaroff in Digitalis. And as you can imagine, being who he is, he is not too happy with the Eden Zero crew. And with Spider being a hacker, he decides to take over the Eden Zero and he's just blowing it up from the inside. And they're trying to stop him, but the only one that can stop him is Hermit. Unfortunately for the Eden Zero crew though, Hermit said that she's not going to help. She's basically like, yeah, just escape the ship because I'm not gonna stop it from blowing up. It doesn't matter to me. But we got Shiki being his Shiki self, and he tells her, well, he doesn't exactly tell her, he's screaming it down the hallways. He says, Hermit, I'm not letting this ship blow up and I'm not leaving you behind. And all I can say is good on Shiki for never giving up on Hermit, because she needs the help. She is literally in a room crying her eyes out, and I feel so bad for her because she's so sad and so depressed. And by the end of this chapter, I think we learn who made her this way, who started her on her path to hating humans. Because she meets this weird looking doctor dude, and he's talking about an ether accelerator and how it's going to help all machines, and Hermit is so excited to help him. And yeah, I think they probably like tortured her, or maybe used her as a power source for this ether accelerator. I don't know bro, something happened. but. I also kinda gotta put a little bit of a blame on Hermit's shoulders for trusting a guy that looks like this. I mean, there are three key indicators to not trust this guy just by his look alone. I mean, first, look at his eyes, then look at his nose, then look at that massive chin that he's got. I wouldn't trust this guy with a friggin' Snickers bar, bro, because he's gonna use it to cut my throat. Somehow, he's gonna find a way. If it were me, I would've stayed far away from this dude, but hey, this is what Hermit did, and this is what probably screwed her over. But anyways, that's really all I had to say about this chapter, so thank you all for watching this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.